If there is water leaking from a zone, even when the valve is not turned on by the controller, turn the bleed screw counterclockwise to flush the valve. If that does not resolve the issue, there might be damage on the valve diaphragm. You can easily replace the diaphragm and other parts on a Rainbird valve. The Rainbird Diaphragm Replacement Kit comes with a diaphragm, six screws, a spring, and a solenoid filter. You're going to need a standard or Phillips screwdriver to open the valve. First, shut off the main water supply to your irrigation system. Disconnect the wires to the solenoid by cutting them or by unscrewing the wire nuts. Turn the solenoid counterclockwise to remove it. Use a narrow slotted screwdriver to carefully remove the solenoid filter. Insert the new solenoid filter. Next, unscrew the bonnet screws and remove the bonnet. Replace the diaphragm with the one from the kit. Note that the diaphragm is designed to fit one way. Replace the diaphragm spring with the new one. Carefully reinstall the bonnet and hand tighten the screws. Reinstall the solenoid by rotating it clockwise until it is hand tight. Be careful not to over tighten the solenoid as you could damage the valve. Next, connect the solenoid to your sprinkler timer. Use watertight wire nuts to protect the connections from water. Connect the white wire on all solenoids to the common wire, which is also usually white. Then connect the other solenoid wire to the power wire, which is usually colored. Each solenoid should be connected to a different color wire. Turn the irrigation water supply back on. Your Rainbird valve is now ready to use.